There we go. How's that look for you now? That nice? All right. All right, Bronson, tell us who you are and what you have in common with your character. OK, well, hello. I am in costume. Like it, you said that it wasn't in costume, but I actually am. This is a little costume thing I had. And I am Robert. I'm Robert Treat Payne um, 2D. And yeah, what's interesting about my character is he actually died before the flu. He died in 1910, while the flu started in 1918. Okay, what do you have in common with your character? Well, um, I guess I want to donate to charities, but I really can't, but because I don't have that much money right now. But um, he like funded a bunch of charities as well. Like he kind of started them up to donate and like to. He, he was very rich, so he started multiple nonprofit organizations about helping people. All right. Um, you got yourself in character? Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah, you got your. There we go. Woohoo. All right. Hello, Mr. Payne. Hello there. Um, so you did not live during um, a pandemic. We have, we're living through one right now and we're studying one that happened um, that your children would have lived through. What kind of, um, what kind of values and traits were you passing, were passed down in your family that would have helped people stay safe and yet um, show that they valued the needs of the vulnerable in the community? Well, um, I started the multiple charities, so they have that to rely on if any of them are struggling. As well, like, we, my family has a, gen has, um, uh, has a bunch of roots dating back to, like, one of ours signed the Declaration of Independence. So we have a lot of good in our family, and we are tending to keep that going throughout all the generations. So our, my kids would help a lot of the um, people who are struggling with this to try to make sure that they're okay and not dying. What kind of charities have you created? What do your charities do? Well, I actually didn't get to research that, but um, I'm pretty sure a lot of them are donating to like the poor people because like um, he was born or I was born in an upper as upper class citizens. So, and I made a lot of money by being a lawyer and I get, I started a lot of charities from that money and donated to a lot of the poor people. Like we tried to give back for what we've done. All right. All right. Thank you, um, Mr. Payne. Uh, before, can you shake, uh, Bronson, will you shake Mr. Payne off? And uh, will you tell me um, what, responsibility you think Americans have for um, keeping themselves safe and yet taking care of vulnerable people around them? What do you think is the American responsibility here? Um, they have responsibility for like not to, they have responsibility to like to keep other people safe. They have to like, we have to trust each other and use masks because a lot of people don't because they think that they can't breathe in them. But we have to keep other people safe by wearing those and social distance so that because we may be fine if we get it we're a lot of us are pretty young but we may spread it on to somebody who might get sick and die from it so we have we're supposed to um keep everybody safe by trying to keep ourselves safe so that we don't accidentally spread it on to other people all right before i unpin bronson will you please comment from your character's perspective about what they would have thought about pain making all of those charities and i'm going to unpin and this is the really cool part because so many of you have your screens on it's pretty awesome when we give bronson some love right now here we go let's give him some love see look at how many people yay that's cool awesome i'd love to see more of you put your screens on even all right thank you bronson that was great um who's up next